What up YouTube and welcome back to the final episode of Yeast 9 Monstro Nox. Last episode we just destroyed the egg. As you can see I let it play out just so you have a little bit of more context in case you forgot what happened. And yeah, so enjoy the final episode. I certainly did. Finally, a <laughs> what's with you and fainting? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? It seems we're just outside of Balduk, though we don't know how. Is it true you destroyed the Grimald Knox? A strange voice told us you did. I no longer feel the presence of the Grimwald Knox, nor any Lemiries. I want to believe that it's finally over. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry that I chose for you all. There's nothing to apologize for. I don't know what I would have chosen if I were you. I think I might have chosen to keep the Grimwald Knox. Me too. I don't mind having to fight if it's to protect the ones I love. However, then there would be no room to change for the better. Not for us, and not for Balduke. Yeah, you might be right. She's absolutely right. <laughs> and just in time for the fireworks. With that, our final battle, like all our other battles, ended like nothing had ever happened. After the Victory Day Festival concluded, Balduk returned to normal. This was thanks to Warden Balgar and Governor General Lindheim resuming their posts. The Glee and Hieroglyph Knights were reinstated with a new master from the church. Things weren't exactly the same around Balduk, but little by little, it would regain its spirit. One of the changes was that the Monstrums were never seen again. With the Grimwald Nox gone, we had lost our gifts. Aprilis told us that the curse was always tied to the Grimwald Nox. There were rumors of the Monstrums' whereabouts, but they went away eventually. Maybe one day, the Monstrums will be forgotten altogether. But in the meantime, I'm all packed up. Perks of travel in light. I prefer bringing memories instead of stuff. That's yeah, one. Too, yeah, I just been, yeah, I've been done for a while. Just finished packing. Usually I'm always ready. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Sorry to keep you waiting. You wanted to say goodbye to Carla and Shanta, didn't you? We can do that before we leave. Of course I want to say goodbye to Carla, man. I want to take Carla with me. Adol, my dear, you're not really leaving me, are you? I'm sorry. Whatever will I do without you? But I suppose that the original intent of this bar was to help you leave. That's why it's called the Dandelion, right? A seed that floats into the wind, onto a new journey. That's right. I knew this day would come, so this is for the best. I suppose I'll have to hold back my tears and see you off with a smile. I won't forget you, Shanté. <laughs> oh, my darling Adol! 
I couldn't forget you in a thousand years. What are you gonna do with the bar? I've thought about it, but I can't bear to leave her. I've grown much too fond of this place. So I think I'll keep her open. Do that, man. I'll save two seats for you at the bar, okay? When you return, she'll be even more gorgeous than you remembered. I hope so, man. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I'd like to express my gratitude as well for everything you've done for this city at all. I still haven't wrapped my head around you being Cardinal Lindheim. You might be one crafty guy, but you're all right in my book. I've always had a knack for hiding my identity. Sorry to have you cause trouble. I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. Though my circumstances required it, I was still dishonest about who I was. I heard that when Lindheim was younger, he worked in the mines for two years in secret. In the entire two years, nobody suspected that the son of a noble was working amongst them. But I did it to understand the perspective of the people. Being imprisoned with you and escaping was an experience I'll never forget at all. You've got more guts than the best of us. <laughs> There's all sorts of characters in the Roman Empire, huh? Now, I hate to see you leave, but we wouldn't want to keep you. I'd wager there are other people waiting to see you off. Ah, that's right. We have to go see Carla at the Pendleton Company. Without her, the Dandelion would never have happened. Adol, Dogie, be careful out there, okay? We'll be wishing for your success in all your future adventures. Come on, just settle down with Kala here, man. Mm, no out on it. Not a lot of people out in the town this early. For us though, it's the last look we get. I'd been wondering how things would go down here the second you got yourself arrested. But even after all that, it feels almost bittersweet making our exit now, huh? We'll be back again someday. Sounds like a plan to me. Can't wait to see how the place shifts up by then. Alrighty, what do you, what do you say we make our way over to Pendleton Company? Well, I was. I can't believe we already came to the end, man. Well, not already, it's been a few hours. But still. What I did was make an opportunity. But our lives wouldn't be ours if it weren't for you. So, how are you adapting? You've all returned to your original non homunculus bodies, right? Yes, except for Anamona, of course. But thanks to Dr. Noah, I feel perfectly normal. <laughs> well, there is the little problem of all my old memories getting jumbled up. But we've all decided to look to the future. Instead of dwelling on the past. Huh. That's a good outlook. <laughs> I didn't want you to leave worrying about us. Uh -huh. Hey, that's weird. <laughs> I... I... I don't... want to 
to say goodbye at all. Can't you stay with me a little longer? I wish I could. You know he can't do that, Krisha. Carla. Besides, Adel's already done enough for us. Let's not make him do any more. I'm sure that Adel and Dogi have more people they have to see before they go. I know. I oh my know. god, I don't want to do another whole farewell to a man. I never thought Krisha would take to you so well, given how shy she used to be. On behalf of all of us at Pendleton, thank you for everything you've done. Krisha told me what had happened. You're a hero, Adel. <laughs> I cause as much trouble as I saw. <laughs> Not really. No. I mean, it is partially Adel's fault that this all happened to begin with. You may have a point, but it was my honor to have helped you, nonetheless. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'm glad you were there for us. Just think of it as a mutually beneficial business arrangement. Though it's unfortunate a business partner as promising as you is departing. Mm hmm. I want to stay. Decide to return to Balduk, you'll always be welcome at Pendleton. <laughs> we might just take you up on that. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Adol. Please come back to Balduk one day. I'll be waiting for you. Stay well, Adol, and safe travels. Oh my god. Last, I finally found you. Where have you been hiding? Doesn't she work for the Roman Empire? The uh oh, what, what, what does she do again? <coughs> She's an interrogator. Yeah. That's no, I am not. Right. Now, you'll be coming with me to the prison. <coughs> I will admit there may have been some truth to your statements from the interrogation. Though I was reluctant to acknowledge it. But now that I have, I realize that you're even more dangerous than I thought. Now you will come quietly back to the prison with me. <coughs> what? Adol, show her what Parks gave you. This is one of those times it would come in handy, right? Adel retrieved a piece of parchment from his shirt and unfolded it to show Ingrid. He's free. What's this? An adventuring charter? By the authority vested in me as Governor General, I do hereby endow the bearer of this document, Adel Kristen, full entitlement to engage in the free exploration of the Glia Erdlingen province in his capacity as an adventurer. Cardinal Lindheim. Did a reprobate like you get your hands on this? More importantly, when did Cardinal Lindheim return? And what of Shadowlard and the others? Wait, you really have no idea? <laughs> She's an idiot. The Cardinal's been back as the Governor General for a while now. As for Shadowlard, he's gone. So the Hieroglyph Knights are restructuring. Preposterous. I haven't seen any report since I escaped the Hieroglyph Knights and hid underground. Yes, she wouldn't know. She's been under a rock. <laughs> Literally. Speaking of, I don't mean any offense, but, uh, you kind of stink. F for, for all I know, you may very well have forged this letter. I must confirm its legitimacy with the Cardinal at once. What? Hey! Listen here, Adol Kristen. If I learn you forged this letter, I'll have you imprisoned once more. You stay right there until I come back. She's persistent. She's a fucking idiot, man. But 
should probably get going before Deputy Crazy gets back. If we go now, we shouldn't have any problems leaving through the front gate. Um, we are the main gates, man. I'm just straight ahead. So what, the dandelion was so close to the main gate? Okay. So everyone is waiting here, huh? Adult. Jules. Ah, good. It seems we've caught you just in time. Jules. And Dr. Noah. I'm sorry, Jules. You can't walk anymore after losing your gift, right? Yep, I got the short end of the stick. My original body has the same disease too. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a way to restore the Grimwald Knox so I can have my gift back. At least you've kept your humor. <laughs> well, it beats being a wet blanket about it. <laughs> Good old Jules. Oh, I have a message from Anna Mona for you. She said, thank you for everything. Let us meet again. No frills, straight to the point. That's Anima for you. Despite how concise the message was, she did appear sad you were leaving. In any case, I believe the choice she made was for the best. Sola was generous enough to perform one final procedure for her. Ah, I get you. So, what's the plan for the Noahs? About that. We found a lead on Jewel's disease. Maybe the research documents that Zola left behind give me hope that it can. I don't expect him to be cured immediately, but I'm sure we can slow its progression. In fact, he's already doing so well, he insisted on coming to bid you goodbye. Hey, that's great news, Jules. Yes. Well, I'm not out of the woods yet. We still don't know if I can be cured completely. So, and you two really are leaving. Yeah. I'm sad to say bye too, kiddo. Are you going to continue your adventures then, at all? Hey, um, if I can walk again someday, do you think I could come to visit you? Of course. Yeah. Really? I'm going to hold you to that. No problem. You can tell me about all the new things you two have seen on your adventures. Sure. <laughs> you got it. We'll tell you so many stories, you'll be begging us to stop. In the meantime, make sure you record your own adventures in that notebook of yours. Then we can swap stories next time we meet. Right, Adel? You should change the name of the notebook, yeah, man. Hmm. I just might do that. Adel, Dogi, thank you for everything you've done for our family. Jules, Pamela, and I wish you the best on your journey. We appreciate that. You've done plenty for us, too. Thank you, both of you. And take care. Right back at you, Jules. All right, then. Time to go, Adam. This is where Yufa stops us. Would you look who it is? I've told you. <laughs> Even that. Oh my god, I thought uh, my heart stopped. We've got ourselves an entourage. Did you all come to say goodbye? I thought I skipped the cutscene. Yeah, what I wanted to say, I told you, even the cutscenes at the end of the game might take an hour, so yeah. Yeah, both of you have done so much for all of us. The least we could do was send you off in kind. My co-workers also send their regards. 
Oh, they covered for me at the Coliseum so I could come say goodbye. <laughs> Your boyfriend here is a keeper, Yufa. B -b -b boyfriend When are you two going to make it official already? No! Um, I'm sorry about that. Don't be. family for you. Felix has got his work cut out for him. Thank you for everything, Adol. And for all you've done for our sister, especially. Your sister's the one who's gotten us out of more scrapes than we can count. Yeah. The best? She's fun to tease, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ufa's blushing. Uh. Uh, hey, you two. What did I just say? I haven't even said goodbye to Adol yet. Uh, well, now it's too quiet. <coughs> Hurry it up, woman. Adol's busy, you know. Food. Love this city just as my mother and father did, and I'm glad I can continue living here with my siblings. So thank you for that, for giving us the push we needed. The wounds we've suffered may never heal completely, but I'll keep my head up and smash through every wall that holds me back. As long as we're all smiling, it'll give mom and dad a reason to smile down on us too. I'll follow your example, Adol, and keep looking toward the future. I hope the both of you are happy together. <laughs> Thanks, you for do just the same. Yeah, keep it going for us, okay? You kids take care too. They don't give your sister too much trouble. You hear? We'll do our best, Ogi. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay? Best of luck on your travels. Both of you. Thank you, Felix. We'll miss you. But don't look back, okay? We'll never forget you two. Neither will we. Fucking hate goodbyes, man. No, just the prelude is missing, huh? Maybe she comes with us. What? Here comes the warden. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for everything. Yes. You as well. So, take it you're leaving. Yeah, that's the plan. Good. That might be for the best. <coughs> what do you mean? After everything that's happened, the Imperial military is on their way from Rom. The relatively new Paranormal Investigation Division is also involved. Whew, they don't waste any time, do they? You know Ingrid, don't you? She's actually a highly ranked officer in the Imperial Army. She used her connections to request additional support from the Roman military. No idea how she managed to report on all those events while she was in hiding, though. I heard the two of you were the primary suspects in the investigation. Of course, where's? Come on, can't we catch a break? Nope. I am a Roman soldier, so if they require it, I will be obliged to aid them. Anyway, I thought I'd give you fair warning. Thank you, man. Thanks, we'll be careful. Got it. We'll get a move on. Might be in your best interest. Stay sharp until we meet again, Adel Kristen. Where's the Prilis man? A Prilis comes with me on the journey. I don't care. Someone has to. Looks like there's one more person waiting for you. She's all packed, no? Not packed, nothing. Heading out, Adel? 
that the Grimwald Nox is gone, the people's fate rests in their own hands. There's a possibility of a far more disastrous war or calamity in the future. That being said, you all risked your lives to pave this new path for Balduk. Now it's our responsibility to ensure it leads to the future this city deserves. No. It's not your duty to fulfill. This is our obligation as the people who live upon this land. You are kind, Adol Kristen. You are also steadfast. Do you remember when I told you I wish the Monstrums didn't have to fight anymore? It was right before our final battle. Yeah. Hmm. Teasing me now, are you? A bit. I had a feeling, Adol, from the moment I met you in the prison, that you would be the one to spark the change that I could only dream of. But I always reserved my expectations. And yet, you exceeded them anyway. Thank you for freeing the Monstrums. This is the first moment in a very long time that I myself have felt free. What do you do now? Hmm. I'm sure you've spent your life living for the sake of others. Though, I guess I'm not one to talk. But, hey, it might be good for you to take some time to yourself for a change. Yes. Come with us. Interesting. I can do that now, can't I? Yes. You have your whole life ahead yeah. of you. Yes, you're right. Adol, thank you again. For everything. Though it pains me to see you go, I'm glad for you all the same. Goodbye, Adol. So, where to next, Adol? If you want to stay on the road, we can head towards Garmin. Or if you're pining for the sea breeze, we could take a trip overseas to Bretai. Wherever the wind takes us. You really took that dandelion thing to heart, huh? Hmm. By the way, I've been meaning to ask. I've been on the road for a while now. You ever think about settling down anywhere? I do, all the time. <laughs> really? <laughs> you fooled me. We made a lot of great memories here, with a lot of great people. Wherever the next destination may be, I hope we meet more folks like that again. That would be great, man. Hey, Adam. Look. Okay, we get it, man. We get it. I hate goodbyes, man. Come on. Oh, I forgot you, man. How the fuck did I forget you, bro? So yeah, 
let's talk about it. So what can I say besides great game man? Really man, great fucking game. It has some issues with the with the jumping AI and the AI flies around. <laughs> like in, in the area above where you can even fight them. Hmm. Not in that. Krisha has a bit of annoying story, but it's way, way less than in any other or most other JRPGs or animes and for that matter. So she was a decent character. Actually, it developed over time, so yeah. Really, the writing is great, the world is great, the dungeons could have been a bit more. How should I put it? Because there was a variety to them. I don't know, they were actually good. Oh, they married, of course they married. I'm not even looking at, what, at the pictures, man, I was thinking about the game. But yeah, overall... What can I say, man? Really, nothing. Except a great game. Play it. For me, it would definitely be a 9. I would have loved to Balduke to be a bit more... more colorful, but I understand it's a, it's a city, um, a prison city, just after war and all of that. And it's like a huge prison. But still, I don't know what, what can I say about this game. It is bad, or good. Like I said I really enjoyed the whole game. It's a lot of fun. I'm kind of sad that it's over. The final JRPG battle, obviously. That's what you get for if you play in a JRPG. That's what you have to expect. It was a bit annoying that you didn't get like uh, a last brewery or something, or maybe meet Saradio. Well, it doesn't make sense, but in a way to fill up your potions would have been great. Characters were all pretty interesting. Nice interaction bet between them. Is that all oh, the Prillis? Is she pushing around? Is it Zola? Might be. Yeah, man. Overall, I would give it probably a 9 for me. I thought about 8 or 9, but I really, really enjoyed it. The world builds pretty well about it. Oh, look, all the dandelions. The world builds upon itself pretty well. A lot, of, a lot of variety. The twists with with our double ganger and constantly keeping you interested in the story, or at least me. Yeah, can't really say anything, man. It's a great game, and I definitely for you. Enjoyed it a lot. Enjoyed it a lot. So yeah, now I'm interested in playing the earlier entries. I know the 8, Lucky Moftana, or what it's called. Ah, this is the new one, wow, nice. To be continued in Eldor's next book. Can't wait for it. Cannot wait for it. Yeah, save.
What? This is a new game plus probably. Okay. 81, like I said. I would be around level 80. Nice. One strong Nox. It's time attack. Yeah, no. If I load, the clear data. Oh, I, it's probably free wrong, yeah. It's not New Game Plus. Doesn't make sense for New Game Plus. But if I would start a new game, yeah. An extremely unreasonable difficulty. <laughs> a cruel, mercilessly unbalanced diff At least they say it's an unbalanced. I'm okay with it. They tell you what it is. They tell you what... And double the damage. Fuck. Basically everyone one-shots you then. Are you kidding me? Either way. I enjoyed this a lot, like I said. It's been a lot of fun. So I guess I will see you very soon man. Um, a few episodes of Sifu are coming out and then I don't know if I'll tackle Infernax. It's a short game like two or three hours I believe they said but with multiple endings and multiple choices. Or maybe the Outer Wilds, I'm also interested in that. I have it. I had it for a long time, I waited for the update and after that game after game came out. But yeah, either way I'm just rambling on. Like I said, the last battle and a little bit, the last third, um, at the end, if you remember, the three areas we had to unlock with the with this crazy prisons, with the characters from the 500 or the 100 year war, um, the third prison plus the final battle, and now this, uh, this uh, cutscenes at the end lasted about two hours. <laughs> Like JRPGs, man. Sometimes you don't get to sleep because you have to wait until you can save, man. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed the heck out of it. And see you in the next series. Until then, have a good one.